Welcome back everyone for the next part of Chrono Arc. In the last part we learned about a lot of things. First and foremost, Phoenix is a girl called Shiho with light hair. She was responsible of destroying pretty much everything that we need in order to see the outside world. And she let out the betrayer out of the cell because she was so afraid of Klein's reaction once he noticed that pretty much everything that he was working for got destroyed by a girl that just doesn't realize that you could just simply ask him to find a different solution for her. I mean, Lucy was kind of right. Felix is a scary cat. She does something very drastic and is afraid of the consequences. But at the very least, it seems like she has finally decided to change after 400 years of guilt, of a guilty consciousness. She has finally decided to step up and do something about her own mistake. Right? <sighs> oh, and also, it seems like the betrayer was kind of interested about us, huh? Since Asa is probably the only person around here who could have probably created such a such an elaborated world with lore, monsters, and everything around it to make a perfectly looping world from the looks of it. Which means I guess it was a perfect choice on their part. But at the same time, I'm a bit worried about the fact that uh, it kind of seemed like they succeeded with their plan. Asa was voted for. They gave the master permission all kinds of extra rules, which in turn manipulated everyone else into voting him so that he would make a sacrifice. But at the end of the day, he he's not a proper master because he's in the he's he's literally currently trying to wake him up. He can't be the proper master if he's trying to wake him up. Right? Unless, of course, it's another mind game from the Betrayer, because Phoenix was kind of uh, assuming that the Betrayer would run to uh, become the master himself. And we do have two different versions of herself, one with black hair, one with white hair. Maybe one of them is the Betrayer? Would that even make slightly sense? I mean, it's pretty clear that one of the Asas has uh, a bit of a problem right now, like his memories aren't quite there. Yeah, there was a scene where he deleted something. I'm pretty sure I saw wouldn't do that. So maybe this is us. The betrayer? Because the original Asaw had black hair? And he erased his own memory in order to play his role? Would that make sense? I mean, it's possible. It's a possible thing. The thing is, though, no wait, they looped into- no, no, they didn't loop anything. They couldn't change the avatars anymore, because the console was broken. They were able to unfreeze the people, Phoenix wasn't able to change back, the betrayer wouldn't be able to change either. And I'm pretty sure Asa wouldn't allow the betrayer to change his form either. But if there were two Asas in the same- Mafia game that would totally freak everyone out. Oh god, I'm so confused right now. And who the heck is that? There's somebody waiting here. Okay, we're going to worry about this in a second. First and foremost, I guess we need to pick our party first. Huh? Hmm. It's pretty clear that I have to bring Sharon because we are currently working on a friendship token. Even though I have to confess, the whole self-damaging type that she's going for is not really the playstyle that I like that much in this game because it always goes bad after a certain point of time but I guess it's fine. I, maybe I don't need to go for the self-destruction feature first. She does have ailments as well. She can act as an ailment healer. Pretty much as showy. So maybe, maybe I can rely on that. Which means I need somebody that would technically benefit from pain debuff. Which is a bit tricky to pick because I'm not entirely sure who would actually benefit from that. 
So in that regard, maybe I should just pick somebody who hasn't been mastered yet. After her two tokens, I can just instantly start working on them. I'm pretty sure Shaven is not going to survive the entire run. She almost never survives it, so in that regard. I mean, I could give Momori another try. She actually works quite nicely with her. But I want to go for the pain debuffs. I don't really want to destroy my party again. <laughs> Let me absorb you is fun, but it's also really, really dangerous. And I also need to get Helia and Se Selena at some point of time, right? One of you guys told me that I need to buy the box from the shopkeeper in order to unlock those two. Which is also something that we should tackle in this run, if we have a chance. Same goes to sis! Holy freaking damn, I need to find a witch! <laughs> I need to find a witch! I will not reach the end of this game without unlocking sis! I know one of you guys mentioned that, and I'm telling you, if this happens, you have officially fixed the entire playthrough! <laughs> Which would be hilarious, but at the same time, Shame on you for doing this to me! Look at her! She's so cute! She has a giant scissor, a little thing, killer doll thingy. <laughs> she looks like Alice. Alice in Wonderland, a little. <laughs> but okay. You know what? I kind of want to bring Ironheart. After the last reports that we read about him, and the fact that he might be baby. Yeah, I want to bring him along. Ironheart, you need more attention, my dude. You need more attention. You were the king when I started this game. And now, thanks to all those other characters, I barely have a chance to bring you out. So, of course, for this run, I'm going to max you out alongside with Sharon. Now about you. A monk. Hello? Hello? Okay, it seems like he refuses to talk to us. That's a bit weird. First and foremost, I need to find a couple of extra soul stones again. You know the drill by now, right? Getting the soul stones, finding encounters, and then I need to decide if I want to go for the Crimson Wilderness again. Probably would be a good idea if I didn't do it, but we'll see, right? We will see. Okay, that was extremely easy. And we didn't even need let me absorb you for that. Just a dark heal and encroachment. Great! A token of protection is certainly going to be helpful for Ironheart because it boosts his uh, armor a little and stun resistance. As well as pain resistance, even though I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. Thank you very much, though. He will really appreciate it. Now, oh, no. But now that we've defeated the boss, I can quickly grab another key. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. I'm pretty sure there wasn't a shop here, right? Nope. Okay, I need to be careful of that because we need to get the shop key, uh, uh, shopkeeper's box, right? I'm pretty sure that I need to get that. Do I need to talk to Phoenix again? It doesn't have an exclamation mark, so I guess it's probably going to be fine. But there's a high chance... There's a high chance that I might actually want to do that after all. It might be important for the story. Maybe. Oh well. Okay, let's think. I probably need a healer. One that preferably also does... Stun and pain damage. Which means, welcome aboard, Joey! We always miss ya! Right? <laughs> we always, always miss ya! Now, the question is... What does Sharon like? Did I find anything last week? No, I didn't. Oh, God! It's always the same! I know that I failed a couple of times, so whatever I give her now is certainly something that she will like. What what was it? What what did I give her? Was it a novel? Did I give her a novel? Do you like the novel? Sharon? A chance? Changing gifts? 
You're giving this to me? She doesn't like the book. I probably gave her the book already. Oh well. We already failed a bunch of times, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> Ow. Huh. Are you okay, Lucy? No, I'm not okay. I see. It's really scratched. But no worries! That is why I have this little contraption. The Soul Turbolite that traps all kinds of souls. First open the lid, then pour a teeny bit of magic and stir it at the resonancing frequency of the soul and... Oh! The wound closed. How about it? All better now, right? Yeah! Thank you, Sharon. So dark magic can also be used for healing. I didn't know that. Uh, well, this is just regular holy magic though. That was holy? What? Well, more precisely, I applied the principle of holy magic onto dark magic's instrument, the soul triple and caused a synergy effect. I was wondering if there's any other way that I could use the soul triple and when I gave it a try, it kind of worked out as intended. Sharon, so you know how to use holy magic too, huh? Only on the surface level though, but it's all up to how you apply it, right? Oh, but uh, aren't there going to be any side effects? I mean, usually holy magic and dark magic doesn't really mix that well. If you made it that quickly, are you sure there aren't any, you know, side effects? Oh, it will be fine. Probably. Probably! Sharon, from how you described it, this, is all, <laughs> this all seems a bit too easy, don't you think? <laughs> Do you think I can become one? A dark priest? Oh, oh! Are you finally interested, Lucy? Of course you can! If I can become one, so can you! Now, now, to begin, you should take these textbooks. One volume of the basic dark magic, two volumes of advanced techniques, and one volume for applications. Four books. Oh, and you should also read this introduction to holy magic. Dark and holy magic share much of the same roots, so it will help you in practice. Uh, what? Do you need to know all of this to use magic? Well, of course. Okay, no mind. That's it. I'm giving up. <laughs> what do you mean? I've narrowed it down as much as possible for practicalities. There's nothing hard about it. Just memorize four books in total. The rest will follow if you just practice this a bit in real life. You know the memorizing part is already a problem, Sharon. <laughs> There's no way I can memorize textbook to speak. Sharon, did you even read this? It's hard to believe that you memorize everything when the book looks brand new. Well, of course I did. Once you memorize it, there's no need to look at it again, after all. You only read it once? Well, anyways, just give it a try. I'll help as much as I can. Why are you so excited? Because I have gained myself a little disciple. <laughs> Make sure to read the basic textbook overnight, okay? Private lesson will begin tomorrow. What? The entire book for one night? Good luck, aspiring dark priest. Are you serious? When is she supposed to sleep? I read really slowly. Well, at the very least, we reach level 2. But that kind of shows that uh, Sharon seems to be a little bit of a bookworm. <laughs> A little bit of a bookworm from the looks of it, which is interesting. Now then. Should I talk to her? Yeah, you know what? Sure. 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 I can fast forward it. I think we pretty much read it already, so in that regard, I don't really need to reread all of this, but just for the sake of unlocking stuff, I'm just gonna make sure this to just stop and check on her. Just in case. Just in case. I'm pretty sure the game didn't expect us to die during the last run. Seeing how they gave us all kinds of cutscenes and all. But at the same time, this game isn't getting easier. Every run has a different outcome and sometimes if you just get really unlucky, there's just no way for us to continue. Especially in the Crimson Wilderness. Anything can happen in the Crimson Wilderness. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Uh, that place. Right. Maybe the yellow words only were supposed to tell us that those meanings or that those mentionings are really important. That could also be the case. Well, nevertheless. Are they also going to show us a cutscene again? Oh yes, they are! Okay, that proves it. They probably didn't expect us to die. <laughs> oh god! Or maybe they thought if we need a review of those scenes that we always have access to that. That is also a possibility, right? That is quite literally also a possibility. So, okay, the shopkeeper. It costs 600 gold, but I guess we kind of have to buy it. Oh, we could also get healing hands. Target is overloaded by one. Do I want that? I can overload my own guys? Or does it reduce it? If it reduces it, it's actually good. If it doesn't, then it's kind of... kind of bad. Mm. A mark potion might also become handy. And a key? Well, I always like to get keys. Right? We all love to get additional keys. Now, let's see. The Curse of the Moon and Star, Shopkeeper Edition, Equipment, Confusion, has a chance to switch target when a skill is cast. It does give us evasion, accuracy, and faint resistance. This item is cursed with a random curse, but can be unequipped freely. This item's curse cannot be removed in any way. If you defeat three bosses with this item equipped without the wearer fainting, it transforms into a heroic item. So it is a good thing. I just need to beat three bosses with it. Null resistance. Cannot resist debuff. Then accuracy, faint resistance. This item is cursed, pretty much as the same. Okay. Misfortune. Greatly reduce evasion and critical chance. So one can't target. One cannot resist anything, and one will always get hit. Okay, that's interesting. Seems like I need to throw something out though. Unless, of course, I can use this on my Iron Heart, and then I pretty much don't lose anything. Okay. So I need... Do I need to equip those things, or do I just need to possess them? I guess just having it in our possession doesn't really... Uh, Makes sense. This is a challenge, right? So I probably have to wear it. Well, lucky for us that I don't have anything equipped right now, beside of the usual stuff for my iron heart. Switch targets. I guess that's fine for iron heart. It doesn't need to heal anyone specifically. Cannot evade is probably good for Sharon. But then again, I do kind of want her to... I do kind of want her to crit occasionally, so instead to get null resist. Can I wear the same stuff on both? No, I can't. Which means you... will never get a single crit. No matter what happens. But at the same time, it doesn't really make a difference, because all you have is uh, ailments. So in that regard, this should totally be fine. This actually gives me the opportunity to level up two of my guys again. Technically speaking, I saved the soul stone in case I need it for the vending machines, but if we have this uh, extra challenge ahead of us, I'm pretty sure that I don't want to go into the Crimson Wilderness with this stuff. Yeah, I don't I don't think I want to go into the Crimson Wilderness. <laughs> okay. 12 damage per turn sounds great. This will give me another Soul Turbola, which is probably even better, so we're going to take this for now. Remove one of the heals. Then I'm going to give Joey another level up. Should I get Healing Augmentation or Healing Vapor? Healing Vapor does give us a buff that heals us occasionally for two turns, but this one is just a little bit stronger. 
and boost our health for 20%. So maybe this one is a little bit better in general. Okay, then we're going to give up one of the basic heals and everything else should be fine. Okay then. I guess with this, we are ready for the witch! Yes! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! You have no idea! I've been waiting for this for so long! So very, very long! <laughs> okay, uh, you can give that to him. He's fine. He loves this. Change the here for something else. So tripula. And then a normal attack, and we are done! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I got you, my girl! We are not chased! We are officially not chased! <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, do I need the barrier? The barrier is actually kind of helpful. Mm, so I guess we can give up on the holy water. I usually never use the holy water. Okay, can discard the rest. Now, with this, we have defeated one of the bosses. Now I need to make some room because I'm pretty sure I don't really want to. Oh god, the cross violin. I'm pretty sure that I don't want to. Uh, keep the stuff on unless I have a challenge ahead of me right I'm pretty sure that I don't want that restore one mana if the skill is exchanged and discarded that actually sounds really good I can just continuously discard it and recover my mana on my own yeah we're going to go for this we're going to go for this. I actually wanted to get something for Ironheart, but I guess he can wait a little longer. Unless, of course, we find something really, really helpful around here. Like, double the target's barrier amount, which sounds handy. Then we also have Shadow Pillar. Deal additional damage equal to all debuff pain much. I guess I kind of have to take this one. <laughs> I guess... I guess I kind of have to take this one. The biomedic field is handy as well because it gives us constant healing, but ailment power, right? This is the pure power of ailment. That sounds really, really handy for us to have. Ah, <sighs> just great. Okay, now please remove all the curses. We're going to keep them in order so that I know where each item is going to go. Next up, I should probably get more MP so that we can use all of our new precious abilities, right? It certainly, it's going to be worth it. <laughs> okay, this is good. This is good. This part is actually looking quite good right now, considering that I didn't really expect it a lot from him. But actually, they're working out quite nicely with each other, right? So far, it's quite good. It is quite good. Technically speaking, I would have loved to go to the Crimson Wilderness with them because they actually have each other's back, but no way. <laughs> no, no freaking way. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, I'm so sorry, Shoei. I was sadly not able to protect you, but to be fair, the witch is always a bit tricky if we don't have that many DPSs around, right? She is a general. Ooh. I don't really have that many barriers. But I guess I could boost the power of Shadow Pillar even further. Which means I should probably lean more towards the defenses orientation of Ironheart from here on out. And make use of my small barrier generators. Hmm. Might be handy. But we will see. We will see if I get the, the cards for him. Right. So, what am I going to do with Sharon now? I got another violin, but so far everyone kind of hated the violin. But then again, if everyone hates the violin, maybe for once we have somebody who appreciates the fine art of music! Hmm? Yes! <laughs> a violin! I feel a bit nostalgic! Did you play a violin before? Huh. 
When I was young, I practiced so hard that I considered becoming a pro. Of course, I still enjoy it as a hobby even now. Thanks, Lucy. Alright, how about I do a little performance for you? Oh, yes, please! But sadly, we can't hear it. Oh, well. But it's good, because this is going to give us an instant level up. Hehe! <laughs> Now, if you turn your wrist like this with a snap, you get a dark heel. Did you see that? Try doing it yourself. Mm. Did it work? Stop, 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 stop! That's not it! Ah, basic textbook, page 121. It is written on the seventh line of chapter 4. You need to draw a smooth circle as if you're holding an invisible ball. Oh, remember the line? Are you sure that you read the book properly? Well, I did read it, but I didn't really understand what I was saying. And you said I only had to memorize it. So I tried memorizing the dark healing part. That, that seemed the easiest. And Wait, you memorized it, but you didn't understand it? Dark heal only requires you to follow the movement, though. I think it's something like this. Just because you look at the answer sheet and memorize the answer, it doesn't mean that you can solve the problem. I, I need to practice until I understood it and invest a lot of time into it. Is that so? But I... Mm. Hmm? Oh, Chairman, something fell out of the book. Huh? This is a Dark Priest Qualification Certificate. Apprentice Dark... Priest Merlin, date of issue a week ago? Lucy, give it back! Sharon, is this. Um, you see, I have a dark priest friend named M Merlin, and um. It's your picture, though. Is Merlin your real name? That's right. But now I'm the dark priest Sharon! So please, call me Sharon. Okay. So Sharon, what is this? The date of issue is only a week ago. <laughs> I guess there's no point in hiding it anymore. You're right. It's only been a week since I uh, became a dark priest. I apologize for hiding it. I, I didn't want to see him like a beginner and... A beginner? Your magic was so amazing that I never thought it would be just from a one week old apprentice. I understood once I started learning it. It would take years of effort for me to reach where you are now. How did you become this good at magic in just one week? Well, um, can I be honest? I didn't know it was such an amazing thing. What? I only wanted to become a dark priest because I thought it was cool. For as long as I can remember, I've been a person who always does whatever I set my mind to. I think being able to achieve whatever you want is pretty amazing, Sharon. Well, aside from dark magic, I became proficient at most things that I wanted to do, with just a little practice. I've always lived my life that way, so I expected everyone else to be the same. Sharon, could it be? Are you a genius? <laughs> well, I don't really think so. Talent or genius, I don't really care about any of that. It's just, if I want to do something, I just give it my all. And I think the results follows naturally. Well, I'm kind of jealous about that. A talent that lets you be good at pretty much anything? Well, it's not really anything. I'm still bad at things that I don't want to do. Anyways, I thought you would succeed if you followed the same step as I did. Now I realize that not everyone is like that. I'm sorry for forcing these lectures on you, Lucy. Oh. Well, I think it would be obvious that you have a special talent just from looking at the people around you. <laughs> Sharon, do you have no friends? What? What a rude thing to say! Of course I have friends! Such as, uh, Joey and Joey. And of course, Joey. So only Joey. As I said before, a dark priest is like a lone wolf, shunned by society and... But it's only been a week since he became a dark priest. 
Whatever! Who needs friend anyways, right? <laughs> you also think that I'm a weirdo, don't you? Like everyone else. Well, that's not true. Then, wait, will you be a f my friend? Huh? Wait, are we not friends already? What? Sharon, did you not think of me as a friend? Well, more than that, are you really okay with that? Being friends with someone like me? Sharon, you have an incredible talent, and yet you're so dumb in places like these. Even if you're a bit unusual, I still want to be closer to you. So I want to keep being friends with you. Oh, Lucy. Thank you. I want to keep being friends with you too. <laughs> On that note, why don't you try learning dark magic one more time? This time, I will teach you the theory step by step. I'll think about it. <laughs> well, at the very least, it seems like they're getting along. So a true name is actually Merlin. Merlin. Interesting. You don't really run into that many Merlins nowadays. In any type of form, in real life or in the game world. And kind of funny that you mentioned that Joey is your one and only friend, huh? Sharon? <laughs> and he just so happens to be in our party as well. Oh, this is a moment of fate, right, Phoenix? It's like a made match, uh, a match made in heaven. Together with Ironheart to keep the children safe. Money is power. Am I spending that money or am I just uh, keeping it? Recast all skill from last turn might also come in handy, but right now I don't really have a killer combo going. So money is power might, might be kind of handy. <laughs> I just need to hoard as much money as I can possibly get, which means I shouldn't buy any more keys. Not like I can actually uh, use the keys either, because right now our inventory is also kind of full and I need to be mindful of our skill slots and equipment slots, because I still need to fulfill the requirement of the curse items, right? So in that regard, I can't really spend my keys on those treasure chests either. But I am able to take a little peek at the shop really quickly. In order to buy an extra bread. I'm pretty sure a bread wouldn't really hurt our money supplies that badly, right? Yeah. I do need to get the healing supplies. You never know where you can need it. Right? I do have the soul tripulars at hand. So in that regard, I don't really need that many breads. But just in case... Just in case. <laughs> okay, and it seems like we lucked out because we have the Joker ahead of us. That shouldn't really be so difficult for us, right? Uh, certainly. Rid of this. Go in for a rush. Followed up by a normal attack. Oh my god. Hasn't summoned a single ally yet and he's already down to 29. Hit him with this. Incoming heal increased. I'm gonna give you a soul caliber. Guess we have to go for a draw, which does a little bit of damage, but let's be serious. Ah, shoot, wait. It's not quite enough. Can I get something better? Oh, yes, I do. Thank you! Exchange into quick brawl. <laughs> Great! Barely got a scratch. Still have a soul tribula, and I got a bunch of items. <sighs> Couldn't ask for anything else. Ah, what do I drop? What do I drop? Do I need the purifying potion or debuff of a selected ally? I might come in handy. I guess I don't really need the mark potion. I do kind of want the skill book after all. Yeah. Token of Valor. Token of Valor is certainly going to come in handy. And we got another violin! Oh! Our favorite, right? Our favorite. <laughs> so. 
We meet again, Hedgehog. You said that you wanted to take us to the... To the archive, right? For a fee of two credits. We want that? Do we actually want that? And part to tell occasionally, right? But first and foremost, before we do any of that, I'm going to put the blue rose in. Have a little conversation at the campfire side, because this is still something that we have to do around here. Sharon is already done, which means we can recruit somebody new into the mix. I'm really sorry, Johan. I really like your archery abilities, but Hein... Hein so far was always the guy that always dies for us, but he does so much damage. <laughs> he literally does so much damage for us. It's great. It's absolutely great. I sh I, I just cannot pick him, right? It's impossible like that I, that I just don't pick him. He's that great. <laughs> now, how about something that I have on abundance, like a violin? <laughs> I have so many violins, maybe you like a violin. Probably not, but the first one is always a freebie. Oh, a gift. Thank you. Does this qualify as a bonus compensation? In any case, I put it to good use. I guess you can count it as a bonus compensation. You are a mercenary, after all. So, uh, Ironheart. What is it? I think you're usually a really good person, but uh, can you speak a little more gentle when you fight? You're making some of us uncomfortable by pointing and shouting whenever we are in a fight. Hey, who do you think is at the front line in this team? Uh, the front line? The one who stands at the very front. Well, it's you as our tank, Ironheart. Then what do you think will happen if I fall? Well, I guess the people behind you will be in danger? Indeed. And that is the reason why I shout. There's no room for kindness on the battlefield when shouting is far from enough. That is what war is. Still, it's not good to create resentment between allies, right? Allies. I'm honored you think that way, but I'm not ally with any of you. Uh, what do you mean? Don't you know? I'm a mercenary. Mercenary? I'm not a member of this investigation team, but a man hired by money. Money is what drives us, and in return, we deliver a clear result. That is our responsibility as professionals. But what does it have to do with speaking aggressively? Mercenary, do not stay closer to the employees than necessary. Because mutual feeling will only get in the way and cloud your judgement. Mm. But what if you get extra pay for that? Right? What if, if I pay you for a little bit of extra kindness that you don't shout as much during our fights, huh? Could, could I could I quiet you down a little with the power of money? <laughs> if I pay you, does it mean you'll be friends with us? Ah, uh, I will if it comes to that. But do you have the money? I have currently one k of of gold. <laughs> I, I could pay you, I guess. Don't feel too bitter about it. I'm simply working as much as I'm paid. My mission is to protect all of you, and I will risk my life for that cause. Well, you keep talking about money, though. So, Ironheart, you're not trying to find the time shades to save the world, but for your money, right? It's the wishes of everyone in the Ark to activate the clock tower and turn back time. But this is a different matter entirely. The reason why I'm here is because I'm being paid, and I'm just doing the work that's been given to me. I still don't really get it. <laughs> well, you're still young, so it might be difficult for you to understand. Just think of it as an adult thing for now. Hmm. I guess I can understand that. He just needs the money in order to live. So of course, he needs to make money his first priority. Even if he has to risk his life for it. That's the life of a soldier for you, right? That's the life of a soldier. New. No. Hein, <sighs> please get AoE. Yes, 
<laughs> That's exactly what I need. And I guess end of the line was kind of handy, or should I get blood for flux? It's only against one enemy though. No, I think I think I need the blood for flux for now. Or should I get this? I think endless rage might be better in case I need to get through the the shield again. I can simply heal up that the damage on him at a later point of time. So it really isn't going to cost that much of an issue for us. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. I'm actually going to give him another level up simply because I need more AoE. As many AoE as I can possibly get. But at the same time, I'm kind of forgetting a couple of heals because his healing ability is probably kind of terrible. Okay, is everyone ready? I think with this everyone is ready. I'm going to give him an attack boost as well. I wish I could give you more. Actually speaking, I can give them more. So a strike. Repeatedly you deal 7 damage for each stack of- Yes! Yes! Simply yes! We're currently doing a lot of debuffs around here. But this is going to be extremely handy for our girl. Yeah, everything else is going to be fine. They're already level 4 and 3. I think they would have actually stand a decent chance against the wilderness. But then again, I wouldn't have had the levels then. Because then I would have lost 4 soul stones. A shame, but a well. Hello, Hedgehog. Please bring me to the archive. Because I'm pretty sure that I still want to go there. Even if I need to take a shortcut for it. Right? Certainly. Beginning the construction. Thank you, sir. Count to Dochi. <laughs> Dochi Ichi, I mean. Uh, Count to Ichi Ichi and the hedgehog stuck a tunnel leading to the giant tree in the crimson wilderness. Please tell me I don't need to fight. Okay, it's fine. I don't need to fight. It's fine. Okay. Um, hello, Phoenix. How's it going? Lucy. This is where the archive is located. Why did you come here? Well, the archive. Phoenix, when I first came here without my memories, I saw reality. I faced the truth for the first time, even though I didn't want to admit it. I had no choice but to do so. So what about that? Well, the investigators. You told me to convince the investigators, right? They would need to see the true reality for themselves. This place lets you see events from the past. So that is why you came here? Well, what do you think, Phoenix? Do you think the archive will help the investigators regain their memories? I mean, it could, but... It was quite romantic for you. You literally broke down. I don't know if this is a good idea. I don't know. More importantly, Lucy, we don't really have that much time to spare on this. I know, it won't be long. Even if it is just for a moment, if the investigators can learn something about the archives, then... Hmm. Alright, I'm giving you one minute. No more than that. Okay? I took the investigators to the tree roots that contained the archive. Like last time, the archive was recording everything that happened within the virtual world. There's no more of the potion that I drank. The investigators have no reason but to find their memories here. However, there's not enough time to explain everything, and the amount of records stored here is just way too vast. I decided to show them the records that can explain the current situation. And the, and the records, records related, related to the true selves. selves. Is that a good idea? Is it over? <laughs> yeah. So, um, how did they react? Well, their memories are a little hazy, but they're beginning to remember the past after seeing their true selves. And they all seem depressed. Well, of course they are. They've been living in this world as the idle version of themselves. Did you really think they would want to return to their past, flawed selves? 
Maybe? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's already spilled beans. But I still wonder if this is... Uh, this was the right choice. Since they know the truth now, it might affect our fight at the most important moment. Well, it's okay. We'll manage somehow. Mm hmm You... How could you be so irresponsible? <laughs> I'm sorry, Phoenix. But I couldn't turn a blind eye to this. Ah, whatever. What's done is done. We can't waste any more time, so let's go. We're almost at the finish line. Alright. Are they fine though, Joey? Hey! Hey, kid! Are you alright? Do you think I'm okay? What's the big deal here? What were you thinking when you showed me this? Well, I can't afford it would help. What was I thinking? <laughs> well, to explain why we needed to fight, I first, ha uh, first had to restore your lost memories, so... Who said I wanted to know? Because of you, I remembered. I remembered how much of a worthless piece of shit I am! <gasps> oh no! What do you mean with that? I'm nothing like a genius or an elite. In the real world, I'm just a bumbling idiot pretending to be an elite. I wanted to pull my weight in the family. I wanted to be useful to my father, so I tried and tried. But the real world's nothing like the virtual world. People without talent can never make it in life, no matter how much they try. That's reality for you. Oh. Is it because of the mining incident? That that could have happened to anyone. They didn't they didn't follow any regulations. Uh, but in this virtual world, I can live as a person that I aspire to be. In this place, I'm the genius elite Joey. There's no way someone like me would want to go out to the real world, don't you think? But Joey Shut up! I'm done listening to you! I don't care about reality or whatever. Bring that up one more time and I'll mess you up for real. Oh, well, that's been terrible. Did that just turn red? Oh god, he hates us. Lucy hates us. Oh god, this is not going to be pretty, we're fine. I are you okay? I remember my past self. I was a loser, ignored by everyone, having no friends or social skills. The only place I could run free was the world inside of the monitor. I wanted to become strong, so strong that I could get revenge on those who ignored me. That's the current me. But you don't like this either, right, Heim? Funny, isn't it? The guy rumored to be one of the strongest in the Ark is actually weaker and more pathetic than anyone else. Hein. I'm sorry, but I don't think I can help you anymore. If I help you and go out to the real world, that means returning to my former, weak self, right? I wouldn't want that. I like the way that I am now. I like this world where I can run free and fight other strong guys to my heart's content. Why should I give up on this perfect life and return to my sad reality? But, but hi, everyone's afraid of you. You're, you're kind of a, like a lone wolf right now. Isn't the weaker half also great? Shut it. I've already made my decision. I won't go back no matter what you say. Oh god, this is horrible. <laughs> horrible. They all turn red. Justin, what have you done? Sharon? Are you crying? Lucy. Are you crying, Sharon? I remember everything now. My original self. And the fact that we have to go back to the real world. Sharon, you're suddenly talking like... You should know, Lucy. This is the way Merlin normally talks. Sharon is only a role that I created to escape from the stress of living as Merlin. Now that I know who I really am, I have no choice but to return to the to be the only successor of Eclipse, 
Burlant. Uh, but Lucy, I... I honestly don't want to do that. I wanna... I wanna live as Sharon. I don't want to return to being Merlin. Am I wrong? Going out into the real world would mean that I have to live as Merlin again, right? No, that that's not true. What's not true? Lucy, you don't know anything. From our family, Merlin has to be a perfect daughter as the successor of the company. There's no place for Sharon in that role. I can only do what my parents tell me to do. I like this world better, where I can live freely according to my own will. That is why I'm sorry, Lucy. <sighs> Uh-oh. Uh, oh, what about, what about Ironheart? Surely you won't have any problems of returning, right? <laughs> it's all about the money. <laughs> So that is how it is. Please tell me that you're okay with this. Please. Since when did you know this? Mm, I've only just recently regained my memories as well. I thought it would be better for everyone to know the truth if we're all going out to the real world together. I see. Were you surprised to suddenly realize the truth? I mean, the others are already kind of depressed. If so, I'm sorry. You see, I'm a bit in a hurry and... No, it's fine. But the real world, huh? Now that it's come to this, do I really have to write? Wait, what do you mean? May I have a moment to organize my thoughts? I know you said that you're in a hurry, but I need just a little moment to decide my stance. Well, at the very least, he didn't say that he wouldn't want to... Oh, shoot, he's also red. Yeah, that's, that, that was uh, a failure. They aren't really that eager to join us, Lucy. And now, let's get ready again. Switch target is fine. And Hein, I'm just gonna hope that you're going to survive, my boy. If you don't survive, that would be horrible. Especially against those twins. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Well, guess it doesn't really matter. Minus 72! How? <laughs> How are you doing this? How are you doing this, Ironheart? You're literally double dead. You're double dead. <laughs> oh god. Okay. That got a bit dicey, but uh, we won. It's all good. Everyone with the curse still survived. So I think we didn't fail the challenge, right? We didn't fail the challenge. Everything... Oh, everything is fine now. Bottle of poison. Skill in hands that inflict pain damage cost one less. That is really handy for her. Then we have uh, a hunter's nose that heals, or rather that gives a buff whenever he gets healed. As a thing, that's really important. Weird. Okay, I'm not gonna question this, but something weird is clearly going on around here. Uh, end of the line, of course. That skill is really handy to have. Uh, Magazine. I'm not entirely sure who would like that. Purifying Crystal is going to be quite handy for us. And we have six soul stones. Great. Do I want to buy anything now? Is there anything of interest that I want to buy? Dead end. It's all enemies. Okay, that might be... That might be interesting for us. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. And I'm going to give it to Hein, because always, Hein gets all of our attacking skits around here. He's really, really strong after all, right? Well, at least if he's uh, alive, right? If he's alive. Now then, let us move forward. And find another boss, because Joey seems to... Uh, Glitched out his object a little. Not entirely sure what happened there, but 
Something must have happened. Some kind of mix-up must have happened, right? Okay, let's heal a couple of times. This is gonna be good enough. I don't really want to eat all of my bread after all. Mm, Soul Tribula. Yep. So Tribula has always always needs to be used. And of course, the token of friendship! I'm not entirely sure if any of you uh, want to even uh, talk to us right now because you're all kind of red, but maybe. Hmm? Maybe? <laughs> How about a whiskey? Th that should help you uh, help you out, Ironheart. Maybe it allows you to forget some stuff again that you don't want to remember, huh? <laughs> our gift? Thank you. Does this qualify as a bonus? He doesn't like our gift. Great. Just great. Ugh, I should have expected that. Nobody likes whiskey. We only have one guy who likes vodka. And everyone else that kind, kind of likes beer. Right, Phoenix? They're all really, really picky. Now then. What are you drawing? And Phoenix, it seems like you're painting again. Of course I am. So, uh, what are you working so hard on? Oh, wait, wait, you're not allowed to look at it yet. Lucy, you were doubting of my art skills last time, right? So I'm gonna surprise you big time once I finish it. Ah, right, uh, Phoenix. Hmm? What's up? According to my memories, weren't you one of the bad guys? Bad guys? Why did you betray us and come to our side? Well, you're sorry mistaken. I was never the bad guy. I'm only a pragmatic guy who chooses the best options for myself. At the time, I thought the eternal world would be beneficial for me, and that is why I teamed up with Azar, who had pretty much the same goal. He had the same goal. So you changed your mind now? Well, I suppose so. Honestly, the main factor was the last resort that Klein was hiding all along. The cube that Asa stole from you, however, just for a really long time, I was feeling guilty for Klein. Guilt for my dad? Yeah, your dad is my benefactor and the most important person in my life. To the extent I would even call him a father. Though it feels weird to say that in front of you. But I betrayed Klein due to circumstances of my own making. And Klein is suffering to this day because of my actions. As I said, all I wanted was an everlasting world and nothing else. I didn't know how badly you and your father would... Hmm. Anyways, I changed my mind and I'm trying to repay the debt now. <laughs> it's all thanks to you after all, Lucy. What did I do? I, I told you last time, right? But when we talked about you discovering the truth in the wilderness, I felt it for the first time. The heavy responsibility for what I've done and the guilt I've forgotten for so long. After that, I slipped past the sun and went to see Klein. That is when I found out about that cube. When I met Klein again, I thought he would be angry at me. But Klein understood my betrayal, he forgave me and believed in me once more. Your dad is really something else, I say. <laughs> Dad's goal is using the cube to go out to the real world, right? More specifically, completing the art project. But you're more or less right. Klein being the Forgotten King cannot really escape from the sanctuary, but you can finish the project in his stead. Hmm. What's wrong, Lucy? Do you have a problem? No, it's nothing. Let's go, Phoenix.